So I decided to just start a vlog. I guess that's how you say it. I don't know. Um, today's topic really is on um, kind of like dating in your 60s and um, I don't know if I should say it's hard or if it's challenging or or what but um, you know I hear a lot of I mean this day and age with dating apps and swiping and patience is required I think um, you know first of all I, I just a little bit I've dated for quite a while now <laughs> um, I've been divorced for I want to say 13, 14 years. I don't know. I lost track. You know, after a while, you're just like, oh, well, whatever. I'm divorced. Who cares how long it's been? It's been a long time. Um, had a couple relationships, a few relationships, um, some more serious than others. And throughout those relationships, if you will, there's been so many growth opportunities for me. Um, but like right now, I am dating with a purpose, and I guess what that means is I am dating for a commitment. I'm dating for someone um, who aligns with my values, and you know, just like I don't, I don't like these terms that are out there. You know, casual, long term, short term. Like what, I don't even know what that means. Like what I, what I mean for me is that I'm. I want to invest in a relationship with someone. I'm ready to make room for that. You know, so like what's happening on the dating sites um, for me is I tend to like date younger. You know, that's just kind of how it goes for me. But I have been consciously open to um, men older than me. And so even when I like, I'm open to that. I try to be really curious and um, present. Um, you know, so I had a date last week with somebody, and you know, I I really was just trying to be present and witness what was happening and like listening to what was going on for me and my body, and I immediately was not attracted to him. Not that he wasn't an attractive guy. I just wasn't attracted to him. And, you know, we sat on the beach and we talked and we had a, some wine. And, you know, a, a lot of the stuff that came out of his mouth was, like, focused on a past relationship that didn't seem over to me. And um, also just the data he was giving me is about, like, his ability to communicate and have conversations and really what I'm looking for is somebody to be able to be straightforward and honest about where they're coming from and and not avoid those conversations I've had that before um, which brings me to another point um, I found out in the last week that the boyfriend that I had the serious uh, relationship I had and loved very deeply, but left the relationship because it wasn't healthy for me, um, is getting married, got engaged. And just sort of how it was um, shared with me was like a little sort of surprising. And and then, you know, like it triggered what I would call um, maybe unresolved trauma or unhealed trauma or whatever. I, you know, whatever it is, it triggered something to look at and to confirm without a doubt that like this person as much as I deeply loved him and was devoted to the relationship he just wasn't good for me and so you know again thanking the universe for taking care of me um, it just it took care of me it got me away from something that I would try to like make work that wasn't working for me for whatever reasons, you know, like fear of being alone, all, the, all that stuff. Um, this is my pillow, it says, it's backwards, but love you more. So, um, so today I'm like 
so like I've gotten to a place where I, I just have reaffirmed that my life got so much better after the end of that relationship and that a friend of mine said this and it's ringing in my ear is that she, the person that's marrying him, is getting what I left behind. Nothing more, just what I left. And, and I'm like, you know, I left it. I didn't want it. Um, for so many reasons. And, and the one being really that I, I am looking for someone with capability to grow in a relationship who, who likes being in a relationship. There's so many people out there that like being in a relationship, um, but not necessarily capable of, of being in one. And then I think the ones that are, are, are taken. And I don't like to have a scarcity mindset because I've had one, but, um, you know, it's kind of like timing now. It's like, okay, so, you know, where's my person and doing the dating apps and, um, you know, it's just an opportunity to practice being straightforward about what I'm looking for and then monitoring, not monitoring, that's really not the right word, but um, seeing, witnessing how they show up. And what I find is like, this guy said yesterday, like, oh, do you want to have, do you want to go out? Like, he doesn't, I haven't even had a conversation with him. You know, it's kind of like, do you want to meet me? I'll take, we'll, we'll go to this music thing. I'm like, no, oh, like, that would be great if we've already met um, or talked on the phone. What's, what's going on? And th this isn't somebody that's like much younger than me. This is somebody in my age group. And I'm like, okay, you know, um, another guy like you know I'm texting with is less like hey you know I'm off today do you want to get together I'm like no I work today well I'm supposed to be working I'm not working um, largely because there's nothing to be done but um, I haven't even had a conversa phone conversation with him either and then I just get like really frustrated and I'll talk about this later, but um, like these dating coaches, it's like, what's going on here? <laughs> you know, um, I, 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 I'll do a whole episode on that. I'll just talk about that at some other point, but um I read some of these things and I just, oh my God, you know, like, why are we <laughs> texts that will make him chase you? What? Texts that will make him chase What the hell? I, I really, I really, um, like, I love technology, but man, this is, I think this has really um, messed us up in some ways and it's just keep messing with us as far as like, taking steps to actually have relationships. There's another guy I'm like talking to and I really like him because he calls me, but we've met once and we've been like talking for the last like six weeks. So I've stepped a big, I've stepped back and I'm like, you know what? You know, I like you, I, I'm attracted to you, I'm interested in you, but yet you're not really stepping up. And I'm not about maybes, I'm about let's do this. Like, let's get together, let's, date you know anyway and you know aside from that like my life is good I love my life you know like just today I'm just feeling like you know like what's going on <laughs> you know what's happening oh man so you know just talking things through and really empathizing with people who are really looking to find the person they want to love and connect with and be loved by. And sometimes it seems a lot easier for others than, um, than for me. <laughs> but I realize that I have higher standards now than I have. And I am looking for my fit and wherever he might be. Um, you know, hopefully he uh, is nearby, you know, like right around the corner or whatever. 
Um, and, and I would love to meet him soon because I'd, I'm really ready to share my life with somebody. So thanks for listening. Um, if there's something you want to like talk about, let, let me know. We'll, we'll chat.